Okay guys, so I wanna to talk to you a little bit about objection handling. This is gonna be when someone says, I got a couple more RVs or a couple more campers to look at and we're gonna get back with you. Let me explain something to you. If they leave, they're not going to return. They've got an itch, it's your job to scratch it. They're here, the camper's here, the RV's here, they're here, you're here, close them now. This is a now business. Look, when you want something, when you text somebody, do you want them to respond right now or tomorrow? You want it right now, right? People are in the now era. If they've got a niche and they're here and I have these great customers here with me in my presence in this RV, it's my job to give them reasons and excuses why they should say yes now. Now, I want you to understand something. I'm not a high pressure salesman. I'm never gonna high pressure sell somebody. I'm gonna sell them with low pressure, very low. I'm gonna fly under the radar like a drug plane. I'm gonna stay nice and low, low pressure. Let me give you some word tracks that you can tattoo on your heart that'll give you something to say when they say something like, Andy, we got a couple more RVs to look at, we're gonna get back with you. I don't want you to start stutter stepping, not know what to say, I want you to handle it. So let's just say my customer's right here and I'm like, so guys, so showing you the floor plan on the RV, it's got everything that you want. You guys are gonna be having dinner here every night, mama's gonna be cooking dinner, you're gonna be watching TV with the fireplace. Guys, let's go inside, let me show you a proposal, right? Let me show you what the deal looks like. If I could get the deal right, would you be happy to take it home? All right, so let's get into the objection. The objection is gonna be, Andy, we got a couple more RVs we're gonna go look at, we're gonna get back with you, okay? What I want you to do, number one, rule number one, write this down, always agree. I'm going to agree with them, and then I'm gonna overcome it. Also, write down this word, future expectations, okay? What I'm gonna do is fast forward, like if they did see all of them, this one and those others and they left what would they do after seeing them all right like what would be the deciding factor on which one they would buy then i'm going to fast forward i'm going to play in the future they're going to answer the question i'm going to funnel them down okay i want you to do me a favor i want you to write down this learn the word tracks tattoo them on my heart so when my back's against the wall and my customer says no i know what to say all right here we go all right, guys, so here comes the objection. The customer says, Andy, we got a couple more RVs we're gonna go look at and we're gonna get back with you. Guess what, guys, if they leave, they ain't never coming back. Say it to yourself, if they leave, they ain't never coming back. So right now, tattoo this word track on your heart. Rule number one, agree, overcome, and then wrap them up and get them inside. Let me show you how to do it. I'm gonna walk through it with you. So the customer's gonna say, hey, Andy, we got a couple more RVs we wanna go look at, and then we're gonna get back with you. Hey, I totally understand, Mr. Customer. I completely get it. Look, let's say you had already gone and seen all those other campers, all those other RVs. You checked out all of them. And then this one right here, this beautiful camper, this was the last one you went and looked at. Look. After checking them all out, all of those, the ones you wanted to see and mine, in the end, what would be the deciding factor on which one you actually would end up buying? Look, would it be the RV itself, regardless of the deal? Or would it be the great deal that the RV dealer was willing to give you? Which one? It'd be the deal, right? Cool, so it's not a matter of if you're gonna buy, it's when, and the when is when the deal's right, right? So if I could save you some time, they always say, right, so if I could save you some time and money, that wouldn't offend you in any way, would it? Would that upset you at all? No? Cool, thank you so much guys. Follow me inside, let me show how easy it is to do business with us. Come on, I'm gonna take great care of you guys. Look, let's say they didn't say it's the deal and they said, well, it would be the RV, right? Like it's not the deal, it would be the RV itself would be the reason why I would end up buying. You say, cool, so even if it was 10 or 15 grand more than you'd wanna pay, you'd still buy it? Well, no, I wouldn't buy it then, so it would be the deal. Am I right? Well, I guess you're right. Cool, so it's not a matter of if you're gonna buy, but when, and the when is when the deal's right, right? Cool, so if I could save you some time and money, that wouldn't offend you in any way. Would you guys be mad at me in any way if I made you just a deal you couldn't say no to? Would you be mad at me? No. Cool, guys, follow me inside, take your hand, stick it in their chest, say, guys, follow me inside, let me show you five minute proposal, and in the end, it's completely your decision. Is that fair? Can we do that for you? Would that be okay? Yeah, that's fair, come on. Go. Guys, I wanna tell you something right now. Be like Alcatraz, nobody escapes. I want you to understand the concept of this. They are there with you. They are there with you in your dealership. They are there in your RV yard. They are there on your property looking at your RVs. You are showing them an RV that they clearly do like and you've done a great job selling it, right? Did you do a good job? Yes. 
if you did a great job and they like you, it's probably a stall and they're going to leave but not return. Why? They're trying to talk themselves out of buying something right now because they know they're getting close. Look, when somebody gets close to buying something, they get really, really, really close. They start to try to backpedal and talk themselves out of buying it. That's what we have you for. That's what you're for. Your job is to give them reasons and excuses why they should say yes, why they should pass go, and why they should move forward and buy it now and go sit inside with you and work out the numbers. That's what you're here for. I need you to do your job and do it great. I need you to become like a public speaker. Speak so well, let your words flow like water, nice and smooth. So when your back's against the wall, you'll always fall to your lowest level of skill. So I want you to know this, when the pressure's on you, right? Do you crack, start stutter stepping, looking for things to say, wonder what to say, go get your manager, let them leave? Or do you handle the stall, put it to bed, rewrap the deal, get the customer excited and close them? This is how to handle the objection every single time, guys. There's lots of ways that I can teach you to close. This is the best way to handle it is to play future expectations when someone says they got a couple more of these they want to look at. Handle it like this, tattoo it on your heart so you know it word for word. Let your words flow like water, nice and smooth. Have eye contact, stay confident, believe in yourself, hold the certainty, and they'll say yes and you'll be selling an RV. Let's kill it.